Today we're going to be looking at the Solomark Universal Phone Adapter and this allows you to attach your phone to the eyepiece of your telescope. In order to set it up, it's easier to do it actually when you're looking at something terrestrial. So what I've done here, I've got my telescope pointing out the window just at some trees and things. Um, and if you look in the eyepiece now, you should see the trees. And because it's so difficult to hold the phone over the eyepiece there, the universal adapter will make life so much easier. Here's the universal adapter, or you may call it a camera mount. And the idea is that your mobile phone sits in there with the camera through this hole, and this hole would go over the eyepiece so that you can see through the eyepiece what you're looking at through your telescope without having to put your eye over it. Obviously then with it being your phone, you can record images and you can record footage. And the reason I'm doing this terrestrially is because if you look up into space, things move around. So by the time you've faffed about trying to get your camera in position, the moon or the star you're looking at may well have moved. So if you do it on a ground object like a tree or something, you can get this position perfectly and then you can leave it positioned so that when you want to use your telescope of an evening, it's ready to go without any further adjustments. So the plan now is to have this part of the camera perfectly positioned over the lens using the adapter. So you can get an idea of where the lens is and where the camera is going to go. So to start with, you would put your, your camera or your camera phone somewhere in the center where you think that needs to be. So I'm going to probably go around about there and lock that in place. So that now is, that's locked in place. Now to move the camera around, you've got this bracket here. So you can get that kind of where you think the center is going to be. Tighten that up. Now a good way to tell if you're on, on, the, on the button with it, on the money with it, watch the camera as you go on and see what it's actually looking at. See that's slightly off there. And as you lower it onto the eyepiece, you can see where you need to be. So I can see I need to move more, more down, more down this way. So I'm going to loosen that a bit. I'm going to, I'm going to try put this on in such a way that I can see I'm at the center of everything. Everything's lined up with the eyepiece. Now we're getting somewhere near. So what we need to do is we can start putting the the bracket on the lens because we're somewhere near and we'll get that relatively tight and now it's the fine tune which is by loosening the camera now we're going to move the camera around until we start to find that sweet spot it's the fine movements on the camera nearly there nearly had it nearly had it can you see how it's just coming into position so now we can get ready to tighten this a little bit more it's almost in position so that i've turned it completely the wrong way So we've got it somewhere near now. I'm going to make some final adjustments to it. Hopefully now we can start to get the camera over the lens. Just working it up there. I'm moving it left and right so I know where the center is now. The good thing is once you get a reasonably good viewpoint like that, you then can adjust it later on because you've got it somewhere near. So when you look at a star or a planet, you'll, you'll have the option to just tweak it a little bit and get it in position. 
you see that now? And if I zoom out a bit, I can zoom in even. Just not sure if I'm going to come that way a bit more. There we go. I think now we can just move the camera. And I'm, I'm doing this purposely, taking time with it, to, just so you can see that it, it is, it does involve quite a bit of adjustment and quite a bit of, of messing around until you get it where you want it. And that's fine. What I want to do, I want to get the lens a bit more centered. So I'm going to come that way a little bit more. See, I'm getting it centered there. Now, what I've realized is I've run out of scope on this, this movement now. But on the back of the bracket, there's another screw hole. So I'm going to move to the second screw hole for this to give me a bit more adjustment. There it is. There's the second screw hole. So now it's moving the whole camera lens further up. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So now what I can do, I can move further that way. And now I think I'm almost where I want to be. I'm almost in the center of the camera field. I'm going to tighten that up. The good thing now is I can zoom in. And I can zoom back out again. So that's probably about as good as we're going to get it today. Um, it gives you an idea of how much of a I suppose how much time it is to get it right and how kind of awkward it is. But once you've got it in position, now if I tighten all this up, all these bolts and brackets, and I'll, I'll put the camera around those in a moment, that should all hold position. So now wherever I move the telescope, this will stay aligned. If I'm looking at stars, if I'm looking at the moon, if I'm looking at planets, it'll be fine now because I've got the eyepiece perfectly aligned with the camera or the, the, the lens on the camera, on the camera phone. It means now a lot easier to use and I'm looking forward to getting out there with it and getting some images of the moon. It's going to be a very big bright moon tonight. Hopefully we can get some footage of that and show you just how effective this camera mount is when you spend a bit of time just to get it set up just right. Just a couple more things to remember. If you're going to now charge your phone at any point, I would charge the phone, charge the phone in situ. So plug the USB into the phone where it is. Um, you can move the telescope around, but don't move any of this contraption here. If you want to change the lens for a different lens, you're going to have to be very careful to try and remember or keep the position as it is. I would recommend setting this camera a piece up with the lens you're most likely going to use. I've gone for a four mil lens because I want to look at the moon with a four mil lens later on. If I want to use a 10 mil lens, obviously we've got to go for the whole rigmarole again. So just think about what you're going to use and when you're going to use it before you go to the time to set up your camera mount. You may find you, if you give up after the first couple of minutes, you won't get the benefit of it. It will take a bit of time to get it in the right position and you just have to persevere with it. And eventually it does actually drop into place and you get a really convenient way to use your telescope and to record the footage that you're seeing. So I hope that's been of help to you. Please like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again soon.